Hi everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have another estate sale and, and garage sale finds video for you. This is for Thursday and Friday. That's uh, the th actually Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. The um, 30th and 31st of May and June 1st. So let's get to it. It was Bible Mania this, <laughs> this week. I have someone who asked for Bibles to give away. Um, this first one, uh, King James Version. Um, this is a really nice one. Um, I paid between 25 cents and two dollars for the Bible and I think this one was a dollar. Uh, I then got this interactive Ser serendipity interactive study Bible NIV. That was two dollars and they're going for under 25 dollars on eBay. I also got this King James Version's Words of Christ in Red Holy Bible. Um, can't remember where that one came from but I believe that oh that one was 25 cents as well as this one the Wesley study Bible um, that was 25 cents and this is the other one that was two dollars I have one like this so I'm gonna get find somebody to give this to King James Version giant print as you get older the giant print really helps <laughs> so that's it for the Bible so then I got things like uh, Chinette the first package was 50 cents the big package underneath was a dollar those are going to church um, got some face wash for two dollars this I forgot what kind this is OGX whatever my nieces love this so a dollar for that one a hatch chilies 50 cents a can uh, lasagna noodles cans of beans chef bar 50 cents a can um, then I went to oh at that same estate sale with the food up on the couch um, they, they had a combination of like den and kitchen and in the cabinet book um, bookcases near the kitchen and den were these so I pulled them down real quick and I was able to find that these are sterling so I got um, these were each four dollars so a dollar a piece for the coasters I continue on the beverage theme for some reason um, I think that was it for that sale um, I got a series of um, jewelry at a, a family-run estate sale and uh, this was on Friday and everything was a dollar a piece so I got this Malachite, actually it was not, this one was three dollars. This is a Malachite necklace and it's got that little barrel clasp, so this is an older one. And look at this one, this is so pretty. There is no marking on it, this is the chain. And I'm gonna show you the closure so you can see that this is an older style necklace. Um, but it is so pretty. I am going to have to put an extender on it because it is for a very thin person. Um, that is so pretty. That is like an opalescent stone in there if you see it as I turn it. Um, and just absolutely beauty, beautiful. Here's the back. No signature at all, which is so strange. I would have thought this was um, signed. And what's so funny is I got a, a um, pin just last month that really reminds me of a lot it's got that same opalescent stone with these same pink and green and seed pearls here so that's fun that's really pretty uh, that was a dollar I go over to here um, for a dollar I got this pin it says Jerusalem silver I gotta get it for you. so it says Jerusalem silver and then it looks like it's nine, it might be 925 or a little 950. I couldn't really quite tell. And it's got the pin back. That's pretty for a dollar. I got these turquoise, and they're older ones. These are all going to be clip on earrings next. These actually say sterling in writing with the turquoise. And then I got these little clip ons. These say nothing, they are just completely blank back here on both of them but they look so much like silver and that's turquoise and then these are even tinier still a dollar a piece still blank back here but also look like um, Native American or possibly even Mexican and then this one this was I made three stupid buys this week or in, in, ill-advised we'll call them ill-advised 
<laughs> Look at this. I was looking at this. I didn't see the break here. I didn't see the abalone missing here. I saw it. I turned it over, you know, and it had sterling right here. And I thought, oh, okay, great. A dollar for something that's completely broken. Um, the butterfly pin weighs like five grams, and that's with the, um, um, the pin and everything. So maybe I could get a little bit out of it for scrap value because it's not worth much more. Um, I then went to another family-run estate sale on Friday morning. It was my first one, and um, it was a good one. I waited in line 45 minutes. I was number two in the door. I got this beautiful, fine needlework pot holder, 25 cents. I got this adorable apron with the rick rack and the little pocket with the rick rack up here, 25 cents. I got this chopper. Let me go up so you can see it. A dollar. I got this, and it's that. I don't know what you call that, but anyways, 25 cents. I got a spoon. This is sterling. It says it right down here. 25 cents. I'm trying to think. I did not get to the um, jewelry in time. I was over here, but I was really happy though because I found the best thing. This looks very unassuming. I would have thought, oh, it's just some old you know silver plate junk but I always pick up everything which is a good thing to do and if you pick it up in here it says sterling so that's what I saw until I got home all I knew is I had a sterling little basket and I took this up to the um, front desk and they go oh that's sterling well you got a great deal on that well yeah I did because right here it says Cartier <laughs> so it's a Cartier basket these go for, uh, have been selling on eBay for $70 to $150. There was one that sold for $150 in April. And I got it for, are you ready? $0.10. Cents. <laughs> that was my best buy in a long time. So a little Cartier basket. Um, very cute. So be on the lookout for these. They don't look like anything. And who knows how many we've left just lying there. Um, I'm looking around. That's it for that sale. The estate sale that I went to on, um, I guess Wednesday. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This spoon weighs um, uh, 16 grams, okay? Um, let's look at, oh, the Cartier basket is 45.7 grams. So, you know, it was pretty good size. So, this, there were, at this sale on Wednesday, there were four of those you know five of those big plastic tubs that you know that you can slide underneath the bed that are real you know they're about four feet long and two thirty feet across thirty inches across full of jewelry just packed so if some of us are sitting there sifting through tubs and when you're done with the tub you pass the tub on to the next person well this must have eluded everybody uh, it says love you it's by Bosch B B A S C H a one just like it sold on eBay and it sold for $40 and I got this for $2 and I just wanted to see if I could find I'm gonna give you a close-up of that but while I'm looking for the mark oh, there it is Bosch so that was great uh, and it weighs um, I don't know why I can't find things 13.4 uh, grams uh, and then there's this. So I took a chance on this. Um, it was six dollars. That's what it came in. There is a bracelet and a pendant. There is absolutely no mark on it. And I was really, you know, I didn't know should I get it, should I not get it, I, you know. And one of the other people in line said, "Oh, for six dollars, take a chance." And so here's the pendant. I got it home and I tested it. My acid is about five and a half months old, so it's time to get new acid. It did test um, as sterling, but not like a huge red mark, but it did, you know, but for six dollars. So I looked online and these little turquoise chips and the coral, 
this is very similar to Navajo. So for those of you who know more about um, Native American jewelry, please let me know if this looks right for you for sterling. Um, these are going, similar things are going for $25, whoops, for the pendant and $30 for the bracelet, which seems a little low to me, um, but that's what, that's what they are. Um, I also got this little um, lapis elephant for oh, $4. That's going to be given to a friend as a gift. Uh, those are only selling for very little online. I've seen, I've seen some, but there's no sold. It, it just says they're trying to sell them for 20. Here's these. These are Mexico 925. These are um, pretty heavy. They are selling, I can't find any sales for them, but um, they are 18 grams, so they are pretty decent. And those were $2. I found this, which is bone. Um, I had somebody look at it and they said that it didn't look like ivory to them. It didn't have the cross hatching or anything. So look, it's bone and it is an Asian scene carved on there. And this one was $3. I also got this teeny tiny little sterling spoon. Boy, it looked like nothing. It's so dark. And it was $3, okay? So I think that's it for that. That's all the jewelry. I went back on Friday when everything was half off and I dug through the tubs and I couldn't find anything good. So at 10 o'clock I'm going to, I had zigzagged everywhere. I went to a church sale and um, there was just nothing there. They opened five minutes early and at 8 o'clock I walked out. So <laughs> there was nothing. So at 10 o'clock I'm going to a garage sale and I walk up and someone had bought the cutest little footstool and I saw this. One dollar and it says sterling. So, okay, I grabbed that. Then I saw this most adorable little bud vase, one dollar, sterling. And the cup, um, I can tell you here in a minute how much these weigh, but there's those. Um, the sterling cup weighs, um, it's by Rogers, and it weighs 32.7 grams. The vase is by Reed and Barton, and it weighs 36.7 grams. So I found those, and then the next thing is I saw this sitting next to it, and I flipped it over. What would you all think? Oh, wow, another sterling item. So I grabbed it, and she said a dollar for this, too. I get it home, and it's Gorham. Okay, so I'm happy. And then I realize there's no sterling mark on this. This is, <laughs> this is silver plate, and I found some just like it online. So they're trying to sell these for about $30 online, so it's nothing. I can put flowers in it and not even care. So that was like two not so good purchases <laughs> this week. But I think it more than made up for it on these wonderful, if you paid $3 for these two, I would have been thrilled. So I was just so blessed with some incredible finds this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I love to get messages and I'd love your subscription if you like this type of thing. Thanks so much, bye-bye.